Hello, I'm Dave Llewellyn. Here are your headlines from 7 Action News. Federal authorities arrested dozens of members of an alleged gang operating in Detroit known as the Almighty Vice Lord Nation. A grand jury indicted 40 accused members and associates. Most were caught in a sweep spanning from Detroit to Chicago. The charges are racketeering, conspiracy, running a criminal enterprise, guns and drugs. We're told the gang is a nationwide operation with thousands of members. Ford Motor Company could be forced to shell out $1.3 billion. The fine is related to importing vans from Europe and avoiding duty taxes for years. Ford imports the vans as passenger wagons and has a facility in the U.S. convert them into cargo vans. The process allows Ford to pay a 2.5% duty tax rather than the 25% duty imposed by the U.S. Ford says it intends to fight the penalty. New legislation introduced in Lansing would help Michiganders avoid fines and tickets while waiting to get into the Secretary of State's office. As we've been reporting, branch offices are operating by appointment only, which has led to a massive backlog. The three-bill package would extend the expiration date of driver's licenses, ID cards, and vehicle registrations to September 30th and would be retroactive to April 1st. Work to fix the free bridge to and from Gross Eel could begin any day now. We've learned state and federal permits have been issued clearing the way for crews to start work. The Parkway Bridge has been closed for more than a year because of severe structural damage found after a 7 Action News investigation. The closure has forced residents of the island and others to use the toll bridge. Wayne County hopes to have the free bridge back open this fall. Here's Chief Meteorologist Dave Rexroth now with a check of your 7 First Alert forecast. Overnight tonight could be a few showers. A very slight chance still remains Friday morning, only about a 20% chance. Otherwise, it's a partly sunny day, 85. Big jump there, right? Around 90 for the weekend, Saturday and Sunday. Big jump there. Lots of sunshine for the weekend. Monday, we go 91, 92 Tuesday, 90 on Wednesday. With that extra heat, also comes some more humidity, especially Monday and beyond. So the shower and thunderstorm chances increase all the way through Thursday.